Yeah, thank you everyone. My name's Andrew Ferrier. I'm the Managing Director of Global Uranium and that's a, a great way to set up this presentation is how do you capitalise on everything that's happening in the uranium industry. Uh, that, that graph before was a great demonstration of why the market's in, in such a great place at the moment. Uranium was fundamentally uninvestable for 10 years. The world has completely changed its thinking to nuclear energy, building reactors, you know, globally every day, uh, and there's just no supply to keep up for it. So we're perfectly positioned with development assets to take advantage of that moving forward. So what is Global Uranium? We're very focused on North America, I and mean, there's a good reason for that. We have three projects in the US. Our Tallahassee project in Colorado is one of the largest undeveloped uranium projects in the US. We have a dual compliant resource there of 50 million pounds. We'll be drilling on that project in the next couple of days. There's kickoff meetings at site today. Very excited about that. We've got a very clear program over the next six months, but over the next two to three years to advance that project. We're well funded. We have $6.2 million in the bank. We have all the money we need to do on, to advance all our projects over the next 12 months. We have other projects in Colorado called Maybell, which we'll also be drilling on this year. We have six projects in the Athabasca Basin, which we hold pretty tightly and pretty, pretty happy to have them in the portfolio. On top of that, we've also invested in a company called Uberian, which, which is focused on enrichment, an incredibly exciting part of the nuclear fuel cycle at the moment. Um, we're the largest shareholder in that company. It continues to advance that technology down at Ansto here in Sydney. All that in a backdrop of the US just banning Russian uranium. So it's the right time now to invest in this company and I'll walk you through our assets. But before we go into that, just one slide on the macro. The uranium price has obviously ticked up very strongly over the last 12 months, taking a slight breather at the moment, but just it's set up to continue to run. It has to continue to run. The incentive price for all these projects to fill the demand of new nuclear reactors means that the uranium price is going to have to be well north of 120, 130 US dollars per pound. Currently sits at $90 a pound. We expect that to go up over the next six months. Why do we want to be in the US? I think the graph in the bottom left demonstrates it well. US has more nuclear reactors than the other country. 92, 93 operating reactors today. It's 20% of all their energy. 20% of the world's biggest economy is a big number. It currently is completely reliant on imports. A lot of that comes via Russia. Literally last week, the Senate banned and put provisions into ban Russian uranium, particularly enriched uranium coming into the US and put limits on that for the next couple of years and then a flat out ban after that. That's gonna set up very well for people obviously coming into production now, but also for companies like ourselves with big projects in the US that are gonna be developed over the coming years. Importantly, that legislation also triggered $2.7 billion of funding in the US to secure their domestic supply chain of nuclear energy. This is now bipartisan in the US. The Democrats are completely on board for nuclear energy. They now understand that it's the only clean baseload power way of having baseload power in the US. So it's full steam ahead in the US, and I'll talk to you how we're gonna take advantage of that. This is a snapshot of our projects in North America. The first project I'll be talking about is Tallahassee. We also have Maybell, they're both in Colorado. We have our Rattler project in Utah as well. We'll be drilling at Tallahassee and Maybell this year. We'll be putting out a scoping study on Tallahassee Q3 this year as well. And then you can see the Athabasca project in, in northern Saskatchewan there as well. So what is Tallahassee? I'll say it again, it's 50 million pounds. We currently have 50 million pounds. The whole district's closer to 100 million pounds. One of the largest undeveloped projects in the US. There's over 2,000 existing drill holes of data 350 kilometres of actual drilling. Cyprus in the 1970s got a full-blown mine permit to mine out the Hanson deposit as an open pit underground project, which gives you a bit of a sense of the, the strength of the, the shallow high-grade nature of the ore body. We're blessed with all that data. We're going in there now and doing a, a relatively small core drill program. We don't need to make this project bigger. It's got critical mass. We're doing a small core program to get some to core to do some metallurgical test work on the projects. We're going to take that test work, put it into a scoping study, and so the market really understands the merits of this project come Q3. Uh, very excited 
to have this project. We want to continue to build off it. We think this is unique in the sense of the US requires 50 million pounds of uranium a year. It's currently sourcing that all from abroad. It needs projects of scale to fill that void. This is one of these projects. We have all the permits we need for the next three years here. We have our exploration permits in hand. We got them all last year. This is private land, private minerals. Makes it relatively unique for uh, if you're invested in other projects which are either on federal or state land or US, servicery, or US forest services as well. So this is a, an excellent project we're going to be running very hard at over the next six to 12 months. Our Maybell project, also in Colorado, we picked up this project ourselves through staking. It's an interesting project, produced over five million pounds in the past, very high grade. We've gone and collected a huge amount of data on this project as well. Couldn't believe what we saw in terms of how much high grade shallow mineralization was left from the old timers. But basically it's what happened on all projects. Uranium price drops out, they essentially walk away from the project. We spent the last 12 months compiling all this data. We're really keen to get out there and drill it. We put out an exploration target late last year. We think there's five to 10 million pounds of, of really shallow high grade material here. Um, you can see the existing pits there. Uh, you can see the amount of drilling, hopefully, that's around those pits. Uh, and, and so we're very blessed with that data as well. But we're gonna get out here, drill this project come August. We'll be drilling out there for a couple of months. We're gonna turn that exploration target, hopefully, into a maiden resource on the project. We're also gonna see, test some deeper mineralization as well. Some of the historical data has actually talked about 50 to 100 million pounds of uranium in a, in a lower formation, slightly lower grade, but again, in the current uranium environment, that could be a very, very interesting project for us moving forward. So we'll be very busy on Maybell. Athabasca, we've got six projects here. We've got 60,000 hectares of projects. We picked these up two years ago before the rush into the basin. The whole basin now is staked. Everyone's gone in, everyone's picked up their projects. We're blessed with great projects. Our Nuneman Perch projects, which you can see up there in the, the top right, or the you know northeast of, of the basin. We've got an existing permit on, good relationships with the First Nations. Done a whole bunch of airborne work on that project in the last 12 months, have 10 to 12 walk-up exploration targets. It's shallow drilling. It's 100, 150 metres into the basement rock is which what we're looking for. So it's a unique project. Um, we don't currently plan on drilling that project this North American summer, so I think May, June, July, but I think we're pretty, pretty excited about moving these projects forward. We continue to hold them and we'll all see, uh, see where that takes us. On to Uberian. Uh, this is different, this is unique, this is pretty special. We invested in this company 12 months ago. We're the largest shareholder. Uberian is in the chemical enrichment space. It's a technology company. It's been around for the last five to six years. The technology has been classified by the Australian government. It continues to, to advance and develop that technology. Um, here in Australia, down at Anso, down at Lucas Heights, here, here in southern Sydney. Um, it, it is very unique, chemical enrichment. Existing enrichment techniques are done in very different ways. All modern enrichment is done through centrifuges. Silex, which most people know about, is very interesting technology, which is through laser technology, essentially. This is chemical enrichment, which has been known about for a long time. The Japanese and the, and the French spent a lot of money looking into chemical enrichment in the 1970s. You bear into getting a lot better results than those Pre previous companies did back in the 1970s and we continue to support the company in what is an incredibly fascinating space in terms of enrichment. When, you, when the US talks about securing the nuclear supply chain, they're really talking about enrichment. Nearly all their uranium, enriched uranium comes out of Russia. Um, they have one facility in New Mexico on Bo Urenko, but outside of that, really need to build out the enrichment capacity in the Western world, and that's what a lot of money is going to be thrown out over the next, well, straight away. Um, so Uberian's obviously uh, a pretty important part of that, and we continue to, to progress that, work with that company and, and progress it over the next couple of months, six to 12 months, but it's all very exciting landscape. What's our market cap today? $30 million, we've got six million in the kitty. So all those projects I explained to you, all that work we're gonna be doing sits in a company with an EV of Aussie $24 million today. Uh, we, we think that's obviously gonna re-rate pretty strongly as we get out 
announce we're drilling in the coming days, get out the scoping study, working on Maybell. We're also looking to grow this company very rapidly. We know what we're doing in the US, uh, myself and Jim Villeneuve, who's on the next slide here, we've permitted uranium mines in the US before. It's not many companies or people that have done that over the last 10 years. So we know what we're doing in the US. We've got a small but experienced team or professionals in the US at advancing these projects. And we've got a pretty clear direction from the board to continue to grow this company. So we're looking at that pretty aggressively, but also I really like the portfolio of assets we have today. Um, that pretty much sums up the story. We can you know, go through it in more detail, but in very simple terms, the macro, for, the macro environment for uranium has honestly never been better. A completely unloved sector for 10 years. The world's woken up, realised that nuclear is clean baseload power. On top of that, you've got all the energy security concerns that the US has. They're going to remedy them through throwing money at the issue. We're well positioned. We've got a large undeveloped uranium project, one of the largest undeveloped uranium projects in the US. We also have Maybell, which was a high grade existing producer in the past. We have a team that knows what it's doing and we've got cash in the bank. So I think we're well set up. Uh, I look forward to putting out the news flow over the next three to six months and appreciate the opportunity to speak at this conference. So thank you everyone.